control N to open a new document. And then we are going to use a square size 2000 by 2000. If yours is not here, you can go to um, photos. Yeah, you can go to, let's say, no, you can go to print. No, 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 it's around this side. Yes, you can go to add an illustration and then either you pick 1000 by 1000 or 2000 by 2000. It's a square. And then just type the name freedom. Freedom by grace. All right, so everything is okay. We are going to, we are designing it for social media handle. So resolution is 300. Always, if it's a social media handles, and here is what, pixel per inch, then you must boost the resolution to 300. But if you are designing here in an inches, and then you boost the resolution to 300, then it means your Photoshop is going to slow. It's going to slow very, very well. So change here to pixel per inch, and the resolution will be 300. Everything is okay here, so click on create boom so you have your nice background let me unlock this one and then let's start with the result and the background so i will just pick this background and then release it in photoshop and then wait for it so it's downloading let me hold alt and then scale it up nicely this way and then it fits the entire screen then i'll go to uh, fil uh, filter then go to blur and then gaussian blur and blur it like 20 pixels it's okay so i'll click on okay and then i'll close this side now go to the resources file again go and pick the next resources which is this drag it in photoshop and then release it this way and then it's downloading hold alt again and then scale it up to cover the entire screen and press enter and then go to the blending option and set it to something like soft light is okay soft light is well okay perfectly okay and then let me go to the resources file again let me go to the resources file again then which one which one which one which one which one i think i can drag this and then release it boom nicely like this and then hold the alt again scale it up again and then press enter go to the blending option again and then let's see how we will be able to put these things together so please test the blending option and i think this is awesome or let's go through fully if we don't get anything maybe you can have we can just clear this off are we and then let's go and pick this and this we put it sorry 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 still work on the background so drag this image and then put it over here hold alt and scale it up yes hold alt and then scale it up and then push it up was like this awesome scale it up nicely this is awesome and then let me go to the blending option and set it to something like this yeah so, uh, overlay is okay overlay is okay so i'll add layer marks and then click inside the layer marks press b on the keyboard to activate the brush to let me reduce the size you are using a soft run brush yes you are using a soft run brush so we need to have that foot inside and then let's go to the resources again drag this clock and then drop it in photoshop boom nicely like this hold alt and then scale it up and then push it above the side press enter and then set the blending option to let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see i think this is okay so linear light is okay then add layer mask again be on the keyboard and then clear the edges here perfecto 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 i think the the blending option we need to work on it and i think this is awesome or oh, this and this it's okay so Control t and then scale it up a bit like this Control j to duplicate it and then uh, flip it this way and then push it down yes push it down this way scale it down yeah 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 perfect 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 and this is awesome 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 all right so let me put everything in a group and then call it control g and then call it what background all right so our background is set nicely everything in this form becomes our background now let's go and drag the logo let's go and drag the logo so i have this nice logo 
and then I'll drop it in into Photoshop boom and then push it up like this awesome 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 let me go and pick the rectangular marking tool right click it and then go and select only the text Control J to duplicate it and then double click at the edge this way and then go to color overlay and set it to color white okay 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 Control J and then call it logo awesome 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 now let's go to view you go to guide and then new guy layout all right new guy layout then you set here to six and then you set you can even set here to the same six okay so we set our guys and then the guys is going to help us in order not to go overboard so let's see control a then you center it now it tells you that you are everything is at the middle aligned so this is the logo now the next thing you are going to do is to drag this um, um, um this into photoshop nicely 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 control t again and then hold uh, shift and then push this side up awesome 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 you push it to your liking you push it to your liking now you see how it's working nicely let me see if i can change here to soft light or no I think this is okay hard light is okay awesome awesome and then let me go and pick the 3d text effect i've typed i've worked on it already i've worked on, on it already and this is the 3d text effect and then i've worked on it already here so i just drag it and then release it in photoshop on it like this and then just wait for it to load guys please subscribe to this channel like share comment and let me know how this tutorials or this channel is helping you in any other ways if you have used some of my free psd file and it has helped you in any other ways just come and say thank you by commenting under this video or under that particular session and then we just take it from there all right so it's downloading i'll press enter and then it will check nicely all right so that is also set and then i'll push it up this way perfecto perfecto you see how we are working on everything nicely 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 so, so use the arrow key to adjust it and then hit t on the keyboard here and then we are going to type by grace you are going to type by grace so freedom by grace as you saw so hit at this side all right so let's go and type double click inside and then type by grace nicely and then we change it to color height yes change it to color white and the font we are using it's here it's here it's here it's here it's here let's check let's check it out we just use it recently so it should be in our recent font used should be inside and i think this is it yes this is it this is it this is it this is it all right so that is the font then you just control t and then reduce the size to be small like this and then push it underneath the 3d text yes i think we still have to increase it to maybe 35 is okay yeah 35 is awesome 35 is awesome that is awesome it's great 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 so all this in a group all right so we have to put all these three things in a group control j and then call it what the team all right so the team is set nicely control t and then we can reduce the size a bit so we have we can have enough space and place our images all right so let's position it at the center nicely this way and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome so the images are also here we have already worked on the images i said this image we have used before and we had it from hassan adiola photoshop yes we had it from Hassan Adiola and then big ups to Hassan Adiola for working thoroughly on this image for us to also have access to it and then be using it. So big ups to Hassan Adiola wherever you are. I know you are uh, in, in a good health and yeah. So big ups to everyone. Now then let's adjust the image a bit, position it below this and then it's great it's great it's great it's great 
now you see how the guys is helping us we are making sure that it doesn't exceed up to this and this level so everything will be in between this side yes everything will be in between this side and then that side and then we you can even add the, the names you can even add the names but for the purpose of the tutorial we don't want the tutorial to be too long so we we'll group this one and call it names and images names and then images yes if you just want to add names to names to it just hit anywhere and then pick your text to and then write the names maybe um, um samuela odro samuela then odro if for the purpose of uh, the tutorials if that is the name you are using yes if you want to add names and then just type it this way and then you just rearrange them maybe you can give it this color and then that is awesome and then control t and then you can tilt it this way you can tilt it this way up to let's see 90 you change the angle here to 90 and then you can just position them below yeah you can position them here or any way around you can even position you can tilt it this way and then position it at this side and then change the angle to 90 and then that's all just rearrange the images uh, sorry the names here and then drag it to this side drag it to this side drag it to this side and then you drag this one to this side just to indicate their names or you can put them here this one will go to this side this will move to this side this will go here this will go here and then this will go here any way around you can arrange them so you see we have arranged the uh, the names very soon we have arranged the names very soon and then just edit them and then put the names that you want over there so this has become what our names and images perfectly 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 then after that you draw a rectangle a beautiful rectangle beneath the side boom and then let's go and give it a gradient hex code a gradient hex code so this is it a gradient hex code if you like you can change it double click here and then pick a color from this side pick a color from this side yeah double click again and then pick a color from that side which is awesome double click here pick a color from this side and then all is okay so you select it and then click on OK this way. And then the remaining is what? The arrangement of the extra details, such as the date. So click on T on the keyboard and then we wrote 31st. Oh, sorry, Sunday. Sunday 31st uh, September. Twenty twenty-five, and that was the date we use and then guys this is also not a real event which is happening we are just trying to um, for purpose of education that is why we are designing this so that's why i'm making the date to <laughs> almost one year later yeah almost one year later so just adjust it this way and then close the leading a bit then drag it hold out and drag it and push it to the side and then you type the location and then i set the location is maybe tema community of cam 25 then i came to the binet then i wrote estate junction and then that's all then I hold alt again and then drag it to this side and then what again what again okay what again then the time then I came here I wrote 7 0, 0 p.m. to then maybe I'll just change here to let's say 10 o'clock p.m. All right, all right, all right. So, meaning this, I need to close this up, or better still, we can scale these things up. 
No, 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 no. The shape is not part. Control T, and then let's scale this up, the text up a bit. Uh -huh. So we position it at the center, and then let's go and change the color to something closer to this side. And that will be awesome. That will be awesome. That will be awesome. That will be awesome. Good, 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 good. So all this in a group, and then we call it what details. Sorry. Or you can call it the text. Yes, the text. And then, guys, I think we are almost done. We are almost done. We are almost done. But we are not entirely done. When we are done, you need to add beauty to the whole flyer. So hold Alt, Control, Shift, and then E to merge everything in one layer, in a separate layer like this. Right click it and then convert to smart objects. Go to filter and then set camera raw. Yes then wait for camera out to load please at this point if you are watching and you want the free psd file and then the mock-up as well i believe if you have watched up to this point you have seen the password the password will be displayed at this side either this side this side this side or this side at the four corners the four corners either this side this session this session or this session that is either on the left top and down or on the right top and down so please watch carefully now camera is ready let's boost here to this uh -huh. i'm beginning to like boost this side to this uh -huh. i'm beginning to like let's go to contrast and boost the contrast to this side a bit or uh, what do you suggest please experiment it if you are okay with it i'm go to black okay black push it texture and then push start to this a bit and then let me see clarity clarity i think i prefer this is okay then let's go to saturation and let's see and i think this is okay this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome if you are okay come and click at this side and see before and after i like that after is okay than the before so if you are okay with this um, um details then you click on okay here and then it to be applied to the design you see this is the before and this is after realize that the after look very very great so please subscribe to this channel like comment and share this is the end of the tutorial and then please if at this point you have any question for us you have any question just leave your questions under the comment section below and then we'll get back to you and then answer for those of you who have watched and you have downloaded the free psd file and then the resources file again if you are a beginner practice it and then send it to me on my whatsapp platform and then let's discuss if you have any questions as i said drop it in the comment section and then we'll come and attend to you i love you i'll see you in the next tutorial bye until then peace i'm out